Well, I got a response from Como, and here's the envelope. This is the letter. It just says, Dear Mr. Wilson, this is in response to your correspondence forwarded to and received by the Commission on May 19th, 2020. Please be advised that the Commission of Correction has no jurisdiction over these matters as the ultimate decision on any case will likely lie with the committing court. It is suggested you consult with the attorney that represented Jeff Domkovich and Leonard Adams. Thank you, Bureau of Field Operations. Well, I've been in contact with Jeff's judge. I've written him like three or four letters. Um, I haven't gotten anywhere going that route thus far. Hopefully he can offer me some guidance of where to go if the attorneys aren't going to work. Um, Jeff's supposed to be calling me today, so he'll probably be able to tell me his attorney, and then I can contact his attorney and express what I wish to express to his judge. And uh, I haven't talked to my cousin there's no visiting because of Corona. I wrote him a letter. He didn't write me a letter back. Last time he was locked up, he was very eager to have me collaborate with his lawyer. And I wrote a long email to his lawyer, which I think helped as far as giving him his lawyer what he needed to make a good case for Lenny to get Lenny out last time. But I don't know. Lenny didn't write me this time. For all I know, he's fucking dead, and the jail just is lying about it and not even telling me the truth. But who knows? He's probably in there. He just didn't want to waste his stamp on writing me back because he probably thinks I'm not going to be any help because I got him out last time, and he's back in there anyways. So who knows? But Jeff will probably tell me who his lawyer is today when he calls. He said he might call tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. So we'll see. And... I'm going to keep writing letters because I feel like David Letterman. <laughs> That's funny, right? Anyways, uh, well, while I got you guys here. No, I'm not going to read you guys the, the last letter I wrote to Jeff's judge. Just, there it is. I haven't sealed it yet because I want to go over it with Jeff when he calls me to make sure this is okay for me to send to his judge. Because I don't want to say anything bad about him. I don't really have anything bad to say about him. I just got good stuff to say about Jeff. I always like Jeff. So I don't think he should be locked up as long as he has been and facing another two years and eight months if I can't get him this appeal. But basically this letter is just me pleading for an appeal again and explaining why I think he should have an appeal as soon as possible. And we're going to rally people that are going to be there and be his support system and say to the judge or the appeal board that we're going to be his support system when he gets out. And all I do, I get disability and I just make music so I work on my own schedule. So I already told his judge that whatever AA meetings, NA meetings, appointments, wherever he needs to go that's deemed mandatory by the court if he's released, I can take him to him. And I'm saying that I'm going to be his peer advocate. So I said that I said that uh, um. He's an old friend and an old peer, and we've been peers for a long time, and I'd like to be his peer advocate and get him where he needs to go and just make sure that he's on the straight and narrow. I also said that I'd even like to stay in contact with the judge, and we can talk about his strengths and weaknesses and progress and downfalls on a monthly basis and try to figure out how we keep him doing what he needs to do to remain an upstanding citizen that doesn't break any laws and get himself thrown back in there. So hopefully this is going to work, but I'm trying real hard to look out for my friends and my family in the world. Like I'm, I'm looking out for the animals. I'm, I'm looking out for everybody. I'm trying to free everybody. This is free world propaganda, free Willie productions in case you guys didn't know, but that's the whole, 
that's the whole D. Will Gustavo thing, Emperor thing. I'm just running off Free Willy Productions and Free World Propaganda Inc. And everything that goes into my music is mostly just me trying to express my soul and promote love and happiness and peace. But sometimes I get a little aggressive with my lyrics, but that's because I got a drink to go to sleep because I'm on all these fucking uppers and shit. But if I'm not on these uppers, I can't focus and I can't be where I need to be to be able to get done everything I need to get done. So it's like sometimes I got a drink and sometimes I write some hateful raps, but a lot of my raps are pretty inspiring and motivational. And we're going to save the world, guys. We're going to fix the world. We're going to figure out everybody who's being hurt, why they're being hurt, everybody who has a lot of stress, why they have a lot of stress, and we're going to we're going to relieve people of stress and we're going to stop hurt. And Emperor Gustavo is going to bring an era of prosperity, progress, and equality to all, all life forms on the planet. So we'll see. We're going to see. All right, thanks for listening, guys. D. Will, D. Professor, the great Gustavo. Peace out.